Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something from my own experience, okay? Something which is not taught as a part of course curriculum in universities or when you go for data science training, these things are not spoken, right? These things come just from experience. So I'm going to talk about few pointers that you must be aware of or that you must know before landing your first data science job. So if you take care of these points, guys, then your data science project and data science journey is going to be smooth, okay? So let me talk about these points one by one. So one thing, guys, what is the core of any data science project? If I ask you, what is the you know core thing on any data science project is built on which? That is nothing but data, right? So data is the core component of any data science project. And one thing you and me has to understand is no data science project can be successful without proper data. Now, what is the meaning of proper data here, guys? Proper data in terms of couple of things. One is size of the data. So let me give you an example. Okay. So you give me two records of customer comments on a new launch Hyundai car and you tell me to find out a sentiment analysis model from these two comments. Is it possible, guys? Not possible. So data in terms of size or volume. Second is data in terms of quality. So let me give you another example from my experience. Sometimes what will happen is you might be talking to a stakeholder and you might ask that, hey, do you guys capture the customer interaction data for call center? And this stakeholder might say you, oh, well, I'm aware of a team in our organization which captures the call center data for customers interaction in the uh, call record. Okay. And when you go to the next team and look for the data, you find the data quality is really, really poor. So out of the 100 rows, only 20% of the rows have values. Those values are also not making much sense or it is incomplete, lot of junk characters something like that so two things guys one is volume of the data and second is the quality of the data now comes the third point the access of the data okay sometimes what might happen is stakeholders might give you some small subset of the data in terms of excel sheets or csv files and may ask you that hey you know what take this data do your analysis build your model and tomorrow i give you more data you just plug in that more data now, machine learning doesn't work in this way, guys, right? I cannot train my model on 1000 rows and tomorrow you give me 1 million rows and I just plug in that 1 million rows in my training. So retraining has to happen, right? My previous model is of no use here. So what I'm coming here to say is different aspects from data perspective, you have to evaluate in the beginning of the project, okay? And if you fail to do so, what will happen is in the end, you might end up doing some terrible mistake or in the end, you might end up get, getting a model which is not acceptable. That is on data side, guys. Second important thing that you, you should take care in the beginning of the project is infra. Remember, guys, you cannot run the show in your local machine. When it comes to production deployment, right? You need a proper server. You need proper infra. If you have large data, you need proper infra to train the model, right? I cannot give you 10 million records and tell you to train in your local machine. Sometimes the stakeholders who are not from data science background, what might happen is they might expect you to train model on your local machine. Uh, you know, things will work like this or uh, you will get platform access later until then you can utilize the some, some substitutes which is not useful for you. These kind of scenarios, you should be really, really careful guys. In the beginning only, you should set the expectation. This is the infra I'm expecting the access to. When I'm getting the access, how I'm getting the data on that platform and who is responsible for doing what? Am I responsible for landing, uh, getting the data? Am I responsible for pulling the data? Am I responsible for you know, creating the schema? All those things, you should make it very, very clear. Okay? This is about data and infra. Very, very important, guys. All this I'm telling you from my experience, okay? Next thing, important thing you should take care is 
ensure who will buy your project at the end before starting the project okay let me give you one example i am your stakeholder and you are a data scientist you are building a model for me for my business okay i am under a mindset that you are building a super great model that will take my business to the next level but you as a data scientist is under mindset that i am building a model which is which is not that great but it will just do the job it will help the business in doing some bit of improvement but you know it cannot help to a huge extent now there is a expectation mismatch guys right so the stakeholder is expecting something huge and you know you are thinking in mind based on your experience that something which will come as an output may be moderately useful for the business in this kind of scenarios the communication gap should not be there in the beginning only you should make it very very clear that this is what is the expectation from the model because of so 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 reason because of data quality or whatever the reason may be because of uh, tight timelines because of resource scarcity because of uh, unavailability of the proper infra whatever may, may be maybe the reason you make it clear that i am expecting a model accuracy of some x percent plus minus y percent and that is how this model is going to help you and it is not going to do some great magic for you this is what it is this is what it is going to help you so that there is no gaps right second thing is from your experience you might know that this kind of data this kind of analysis if i do it will do it will be more beneficial but stakeholders from their experience or from their you know biased uh, uh, understanding of the subject they might think that something else can be done on that so it should not happen in the end that uh, why did not you do this or why did not you ask you why did not you ask me for the more data i could have given you more data and you could have done this analysis that analysis all these things should be made very very clear in the beginning and you should prepare a buy for your project before starting the project so that in the end it should not hamper the relationship guys remember relationships are really really important guys you do not want to hamper that at any cost okay and that will get hampered if there are unrealistic expectations if there are communication gap if there are expectations mismatch so all these things you must take care okay what are the three things i have spoken in this video guys data infra and expectation setting preparing a buying for your project once you start the project remember these three important things guys this video is getting little longer i will create another video where i will cover some more points which you must know before starting your first job first project or your data science journey all these things come from my personal experience guys let me know what you feel through comments let me know if you want to, me to create videos on some more similar topics like this i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care